seconds. This is the updated tool of uh, the UI of the, of the web interview assistant. Um, the main UI has uh, remained the same, so uh, it is split into three uh, panels. The first panel here is where we will see the transcript of the interview. It will have both, um, in candidate, bo both uh, speakers talking here. At the middle, which is the, the bigger uh, part, is uh, the part of uh, the AI responses. And here we have, uh, in the, the third part, some settings, like uh, setting the, the interview title, some custom instructions, a number of direct calls we will explain later a score uh, that uh, the candidate will take at that uh, specific point of time and here we have like uh, how many time is left at the bottom we can see that we can change the language that the, we listen, uh, that the interview is uh, transcribed from, so it can be Chinese, English, French, Italian, German, or Spanish with English also at the same time. And uh, at the same time, we, we can have the same options for the AI responses. They can be one of those languages. Um, here in the corner, we have our AI bot. We, you can answer, uh, you can question put questions here about the, how we use the tool. And last uh, but not least, uh, the most important part is our settings. The settings have five parts. Here we have some extras for the interview. Here is our account uh, summary. Here we set up the audio. We select the microphone. So, for example, uh, in case of a Microsoft Teams interview, we should uh, select uh, the Microsoft Teams uh, microphone. Here we have the troubleshooting, and here some useful links. Um, so let's let's do a quick demo to show most of the features. Yeah, Let, let's let's upload our CV. We can see the PDF is uploading. It uploaded, and we can also see the summary of uh, that CV. And let's upload the job description that we are in being interviewed. Though this information um, will be. Uh, used during the interview so that the answers are specifically specified for those uh, information and yeah we, we have also the option to put uh, to upload an, a, speci a very specific knowledge base that uh, maybe open AI's uh, training set doesn't have it but uh, in our case we don't need that Okay, we got that, and we will we will we will stay with the MacBook uh, microphone, the default. Usually, the default is fine, and the, the interview will be in English. And so, let's do a quick demo of uh, the features of the web interview assistant. First of all, um, yeah, let's add here a title demo. Interview here, let's change the Python and we have set up the CV, the job description. So we are all set, we can start the interview. Uh, immediately you will notice two new buttons here. Uh, those two new buttons are for direct calling the AI. Uh, there is a limit of how many direct calls we can do and here you can see it, but uh, we can buy more. So 
a new feature that we have is that uh, we do not have to wait for the AI responses. We constantly um, check uh, the, the dialogue and when there are pauses, we send uh, a request to OpenAI. And uh, I think this uh, will uh, help, uh, you know, have uh, much faster the answers to your questions. Another uh, feature here is that the stop of auto scrolling so that, uh, you know, we do not lose a, a good solution. What are the differences between Python lists and Python dictionaries? Yeah, and here is the answer. Um, another good uh, example is sending the screenshot now. So if I click on that, it opens a window that I can share. And here I'm selecting the tab uh, that there is a YouTube uh, interview. So let me share the screen. It takes a screenshot of here and uh, it will return the answer. So yeah, you can see how fast it returned an answer about, uh, you know, the question we saw. And uh, uh, yeah, this is the score we have until now and we can stop the interview. Right. Uh, what if we want to use our headset? In that case, uh, we should go here and in audio settings section, we should capture the headphones audio. And this is some text explaining that uh, there is a restriction in browsers, all of the browsers, and a message will be shown. So let's enable it. Uh, we have again the same uh, notification we say okay and that's it now let me connect my headphones okay let me wear them and when i when i will start the interview it will ask me from which window we want to capture the audio. We should select the tab, the Chrome tab, that uh, the interview is uh, going on. Now, for this example, we will use, uh, we, I will select a YouTube video. So, okay, let's start the interview. This is the window. We should select Chrome tab, not window, not entire screen, only Chrome tab. And here is, also we have, we should have this enabled share tab audio and select share this is it let me play and that's it basically now uh both uh, my voice and the voice from the headphones are transcribed and uh, can be seen here. 